Hello, Sidel here, and I have been promising folks, I know I've been teasing some of you um, with just a few still shots of this infinity card that I've been working on, but I finally have finished it. And this was the first side that I had created, and I created this knot, and then I went ahead and I flipped the card and I created this next view. And what I realized when I started doing this is that when you create one side of these cards, you actually can have a second side of this view that looks very different on the back. And so I thought, hmm, when I looked at this before, I thought, wouldn't it be neat if I could stitch these together so that no matter which way you looked at it, it would all be connected. All the knots would connect somehow. So on the flip side, I ended up connecting these knots and these and then just added a few triquetras inside to just unify the piece. And so essentially I get two views out of one. Now with the infinity card, you actually get four different views or four different pieces that you can paint, that you can flip. So this was one, and it opens up to the birds. And now this is actually a backside view of a Celtic cross that I had created, but I had figured out how to connect those as well. But before I show you that, I'll show you the last panel, which is another backside view of a Celtic cross. And then you flip it again and you get this. Now if I go and I look, if I turn this over, here is one of my Celtic crosses. And the part that's split here, you open that out. And there is my second Celtic cross. And the backside view of the birds, also stitched together at the bottom and at the top. And then I added some knot work in here to unify the piece. And then finally, the backside view of the knotted hearts. And you can just start flipping over again. And remembering that the backside view of that yields this view where I added these little, they had, I started out thinking I wanted to make sheep, but they ended up kind of as Celtic mice, I suppose. <laughs> and the same thing on the other side. And a unifying knot in the middle. So this is an infinity, this infinity flip card or a never ending card. Um, I have to thank Jill McDowell. Um, uh, she goes by, I think it's, it's just Jill M M C. I think I'll put it in the, sh in the notes below, um, on Instagram, but she had put a blog post about a never ending card or a flip, an infinity flip card she'd made on her blog. So, uh, it was fun to try to do this with knots and a bit of a challenge. I started working on this in, I want to say, late December, and I finished it about a week ago. So, enjoy.